guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. I just wanted to show you the soundproof barrier I have in my room. So my door is padded. So I have these, you know, things that you carry drinks around with. Um, and then I have it in each of the little cavities I have stuffed with um, foam. And so I have the same thing happening on this wall, except all around I have this three inch foam all the way around so I just took off some of the paneling so that you guys can see so yeah I mean um, if you guys have any suggestions as to how I can you know make this a little bit better and then behind the door I have these kind of like angled foam deflectors I guess so if you close the door The air conditioning sound goes away, but my son's room is right next door, and so he can be a little loud with his music. And you're hearing the birds outside. They're really loud today. My my daughter just built a little tree house in there. It's so cute, and you can kind of see there's a tree blooming white flowers. Yeah, so. Any ideas would be great. All right, cheers. Hi guys, I also just wanted to show you something really cool about my website that I just added. Um, so there's a remote viewing area. So if you click on this tab, it'll take you to this window. Um, so if you know anything about remote viewing, um, basically it's an ability to uh, see things remotely, right? So um, what you want to do is empty your mind, um, try and sit for about five minutes in, still, in stillness. Um, if any thoughts come into your mind, just dismiss them and let them go. If you get any vivid images that pop into your mind, let those images go as well. So um, when you're ready, then um, basically you click this button below, which is Target and it'll take you to an, another window and so here I have all the targets and behind each of these letters is an image so I mean if you want you can start with the first one over here um, so what you want to do is you know copy down uh, the letters and then sit with that for a little while what what feelings come to mind what vibrations do you get? Do you see or taste, a, you know, anything? And so after another five minutes, um, then you start to draw whatever, you know, sensations come to mind. So if you see a flash of silver, like, a, you know, um, kind of like, let's say a triangle silver color, um, you go ahead and draw that. Okay, so if you know vivid images come into your mind those are not um, what you want okay what you want is a, a sensation or a hint and so yeah um, and when you're ready all you do is scroll over the letter and it will um, show the image so I'm just gonna go ahead and show the first one. Oh wow okay so that's kinda crazy what I saw was a flash of silver, right? And so I didn't know it was a wing, but I, I saw that image in my mind. So there you go. Yes, I did choose all of these. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of biased to it, but I mean, I, I, I made this part of the website about two weeks ago. So I honestly, I, I don't remember anything. Um, so if you go under remote viewing again, there's a shapes uh, test, a color test, and an element test. 
Um, <clears throat> so basically, you just want to guess, <clears throat> sorry, what is behind, whoa, uh, what is behind these question marks? Okay, so it could be any one of these images, right? So you, you got the idea there. Um, that was a diamond. Okay, and so the same goes for colors and for elements. So yeah, test your remote viewing ability and um, I think I might put a little comment section um, below on the main page if you wanted to comment. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, cheers. Welcome Divine Feminine to this week's Yin reading. So I'm going to be doing a split um, crossroads using my deck. I hope you're all doing well. Um, there are two outstanding readings that I, uh, I haven't returned your money for. Um, I would still like to do those readings, which is why I haven't uh, done a refund. Um, I've refunded about seven readings already, uh, just because my schedule is insane, but I, I held on to those two. Um, so you should be expecting those readings fairly shortly, probably tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the day after that. Okay, so thank you for your patience, and I'm still not accepting any new orders for private readings. Alright, so the crossroads, I'm going to pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. Okay, so how she feels about herself, how she feels about masculine, what she wants masculine to know, uh, what's in the heart space, um, how she feels about the relationship, um, what's the challenge, and... Uh, the advice. Okay, I'll have to fix those a little bit. And the bottom of the deck. And I'm just going to shuffle these cards just in case I need a full clarifier. I don't think I will. Oops, easy. Do I have these upside down? Okay, so beginning with the overall energy. Should I turn the light on? Might help. Okay. Um, transformation, the death card. So this is what I'm really feeling strongly is cutting away things that no longer serve you. Um, but this is metamorphosizing into a butterfly, right? So it's shedding your skin, shedding your old life, your old identity. So the feminine is going to be going through major transformation. And we actually saw that on in the Twin Flame reading. You know, it's like she was closed off, closed off, just fighting her thoughts. And then we got this spiritual union card as a final outcome. Okay, so how does she feel about herself? The perspective shift or the hangman card? So <clears throat> this is letting go of control, seeing things from a different point of view. So she is let go of... Um, the desire to control the masculine. Um, she's really turned within. Um, she's focusing on herself. Um, she realizes that things are going to happen with or without her input, right? And so she is um, surrendering to that. Okay, so how does she feel about the masculine? King of Swords, okay. So the King of Sh Swords showed up in the heart space. So she actually feels that the masculine is in this, this disconnected, unemotional frame of mind. Um, so this actually showed up. It was kind of a confirmation in the extended reading on the masculine side. So I'm not going to get into it. But um, this energy, you know, was coming from the past. So he may have been... Uh, projecting this uncaring, unemotional side of him in the past. And so that's what the feminine is concentrating on. That's what she feels. Okay, so this is what she wants masculine to know, Eight of Swords. So she has made a decision. She is, you know, this is mental clarity, awareness, consciousness. Uh, it's a very positive, triumphant card. So whatever decision is being made here, or choice being made, or 
idea that is, has formed will be a victorious one. Um, so she wants a masculine to know that she's standing by her truth. Um, she's ready to communicate. She's open to communication. Um, but, you know, this is a sword. This is something that cuts away barriers. Um, she's not taking any bullshit. That's basically what I'm feeling with, with this. Because especially, you know, since she is disconnecting here um, emotionally, um, and she sees the masculine as being disconnected emotionally. There's just no turning back with this. There's a lot of coldness coming from her. Okay, so what is that? The heart space? Wow, the four sword. So it's a wrong image, but this image shows where the four sword is coming from. That, you know, heartbreak, pain. So in the heart space, she has felt this pain in the past. Um, and that's why she's cutting away, why she's transforming, why she's seeing things from a different perspective is because she's felt this pain and now she's going into herself. She's seeking solitude um, so that she can heal her, her heart. So in the heart space, there's healing. Okay, so how does she feel about the relationship? Eight of Wands. So this is a pretty positive card. It could represent communication, but it's a accelerated energy. It's seeing the finish line. You're almost there, and so you're stepping on the gas. So it's full throttle. So in terms of re the relationship, there may be this desire to reach out, communicate, send love, right? But she's stopping herself. She's retreating. Okay, so what is the challenge is the Seven of Cups. So this is knowing what you want, not knowing how to get there, having too many options. It's confusion. So the, the challenge is to, um, you know, what is the name of that freaking card? Um, the overall energy from the, or sorry, the message from the universe was... Oh my god, I, it's just on the tip of my tongue, maybe it'll come, but um, it is a person who is in control of their life, they've made the mistakes and they've learned from those mistakes, they've learned their lessons, right, and so you're not going to repeat those mistakes. So the challenge is to find your path, um, to be the, oh, oh my god, it's gone, okay. So yeah, um... The challenge is to to let go of control, emotional um, manipulation, and not make a decision. To stand by your truth, don't let emotions cloud your judgment, and find that path. Okay, so what is this one? This is the advice, Seven of Pentacles. So this is contemplation, it is a pause, it's a forced pause, you're waiting for the payoff, so there's nothing to do but wait, and while you're waiting, you consider all your options, right? So the universe is, is telling you to, to stop and think. You haven't been doing that, right? The challenge is feeling confused and clouded. Um, so the universe is telling you to become grounded and really think about what's happening in your 3D reality. See where you've made the mistakes so you don't continue to make those mistakes in the future. Very similar message that was coming um, from that freaking car that I can't remember the name of. Oh my god, it drives me crazy because this is exact, you know, message. So very cool synchronicity. Um, okay, so let's pull one card as the final message from the universe. The talisman. That's what it is. The talisman. Oh, whoa. Okay, so that card. Three of swords. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the same card that the masculine got as a message from the universe. So this is letting go. Um, and so we can see that same letting go taking place on, on the feminine side. So I did read it um, in the Twin Flame reading. 
Should I read it again? Yeah, it was pretty short, so I'll read it again. And that just flew out. Kind of smacked me in the face a little bit. Okay, so three of swords. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. Silver lining. Um, natural departures, rejection is God's protection. A third party helps me to see the truth of this situation. What is truly mine can never be withheld from me. Rejection is spirit's protection. It's, a best, it's in my best interest to let go and allow for something better to take its place. It is my, in my highest good to see the truth regardless of my temporary discomfort. This too shall pass. Okay, seeing the truth, that's what I felt strongly with the Eight of Swords. Um, we see that truth happening with the perspective shift, letting go of control, very similar energy. Same thing with the four swords, right? In the heart space, we have a healing from the three of swords. So seeing the truth was actually a very prominent theme on the masculine side. So there is a merging of dualities here. Um, so it came from the six of swords, uh, I read it the Osho Zen card. So that was the final message from the extended version of the Yang reading was seeking the truth, seeing the truth, seeing the lie. And so what the masculine, or sorry, what the feminine wants the masculine to know is that she sees the truth. She's letting go of control. She's surrendering. Um, now, the challenge is to find your path and not make the same mistakes again and so you're being asked to stop and consider some things right maybe you're you're too stuck in your ways maybe you're too bullheaded right so um vulnerability is important open yourself up um two emotions because we we feel you closing off quite a bit all right so i do hope this helps like share comment and subscribe cheers